One of the things you had certainly during your career was a rapport with a special wide receiver, and I'm thinking of Michael Irvin, and I've always been interested in that connection that you have with a wide receiver when a quarterback and a wide receiver get on the same page. Just talk to me a little bit about what that's like, what it's about, and what that offers you as a quarterback when you have that guy. Well, there's a few things that are involved in that. One is you, you trust that a guy is good enough to, to win on a particular route. Secondly, you trust that he's going to run the right routes. And then thirdly, he's going to catch the ball when it's thrown in his direction. I mean, those things are all very important. But there are certain receivers that are just quarterback friendly. And what I mean by that is when they're running their route, their body language when they're running the route really does tell you when they're going to come out of their break or what they're going to do. And so without even having to communicate with that particular receiver, the quarterback and the receiver are on the same page. And I know that with Michael Irvin, you know, for instance, we would have an 18 yard comeback route and he may cut it short to 15 yards, but no one really knew that he cut it short because I could tell by the way he was running that route that he was going to come out of the break, you know, sooner than he really should have. And when you get that type of rapport, uh, with a receiver, it's, it's special. And sometimes that can happen in a really short period of time. I mean, Michael and I obviously played together for a long time, but we had that very early in our relationship together. There's some receivers, they could stay around for four, five, six years, and you never know what they're going to do or the route that they're running, if they're running the proper distance or if they're coming out short. And uh, those are unique situations. And, and I had it with Michael Irvin. I had it with Jay Novacek. And I think if you look around the league, you know, with some of the quarterback receiver combinations. I think Tom Brady, Wes Welker comes to mind, uh, Drew Brees, Marcus Colston, you know, and there's, there's others, uh, certainly Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison over the years. So there, there's a lot of those combinations that we see in the game today, and that's a big reason why they're as successful as they are.